ultrasound assisted T4 to T5 paramedian right thoracotomy with the patient sitting. Step 1. Mark the right side with an A and count the ribs up to rib number 5 and be sure to mark it. Count to rib number 5 for targeting the interspace between vertebrae 4 and 5. Remember, on our simulator, the most cranial rib is rib number 3. Step 2. Place the ultrasound axially and mark the midline to confirm that there is no probe or spine rotation. Also, note any deviations of the spinous process above. This may be helpful in choosing the side of entry. Here we are placing the probe axially and marking the midline. When determining the midline, do not use the spinous process of vertebrae 4, but use the base of the spinous process vertebrae 5. The ultrasound image illustrates when the spinous process of the vertebrae 5 is a little off-center. In such a case, approaching the epidural space from the right would be easier. Step 3. Place the probe sagittally over facets 4 and 5 and outline the skin projection of the facet joint line. Note the lamina depth at that spot. We use the facet joint line as a surrogate marker for the horizontal level for the interlaminar space. This video demonstrates that the facet joint line is a reasonable marker for the interlaminar space. It is easier to acquire and mark this line than actually visualizing the interlaminar space. Step 4. Cross the midline and the facet joint line. Mark a spot 1 cm lateral and caudad from the cross. This is the projection of the safe landing on the lamina spot. Step 5. Place the transducer over the future landing spot for extra verification. It is optional to note the lamina depth below the needle entry point. Step 6. Numb the skin and land on the lamina with the search needle. For this, we recommend using a 22 gauge 5 cm needle with depth marks. After safe landing on the lamina, walk medially and up as you would usually do with the search needle. Notice here a slight caudal angulation on the first pass of the needle to decrease the chance of inadvertent placement into the interlaminar space. After safe landing on the lamina, we walk medially and up until we locate the interlaminar space. Step 7. Repeat the same lamina walk as you did with the search needle, but this time with the TUI needle. Use baby steps, two hand grip, walk off, engage, connect loss of resistance, and get into the space. Next, pull back and angulate the tip of the needle about five millimeters medially. Use the seesaw principle. The needle should land on the bone at a little less depth than before. After that, pull back and angulate the needle tip a few millimeters up. If you do not feel bone below the needle tip after advancement, it means that you walked off the lamina into the interlaminar space. 
It is very reassuring also to feel the engagement with the ligamentum flavum. Next, stabilize the needle and remove the stylet. Lastly, connect the loss of resistance syringe. Check for resistance and continue an incremental advancement for a loss of resistance with two hands, two millimeters at a time. This is a view from the inside. 